Hello and welcome back to BPS TV. Thank you once again for joining us. And like a bad penny that turns up over time, Paul from Vitek Imaging Solutions. How are you? Great, Jim. Thanks for the intro. It's something I do for free. It's just something I like to give to people. Now, Paul, it has been said there is no motion without control. Would you agree? Jim, I couldn't have put it better myself. Indeed. Wouldn't and have. we're here to talk about your motion control units from Syrup. Indeed. Yes. Um, so, um, as you know, Syrup is now part of the Vitec Group mm. and joins other brands, including Manfrotto, so that we have um, a, a great ecosystem of supports and mm. a growing selection of motion products. I imagine, because they're New Zealand based, that they're like in the Shire. Do you know what I mean? With like a sort of grassy knoll and they live underneath whittling these out. Would that be true? If, if only, Jim, it would be quite a story. No, it would they're, be. they're taller and they eat less they're meals taller. a day. Yeah. They're taller, they're not, they're not <laughs> supersized or very, very small. OK, OK. Um, but uh, yeah, Ben and Chris and the team mm. um, obviously developed a lot of the syrup product that we have now and we've continued to expand that range. Yes. Um, prior, so post acquisition. Um, so here today, um, talking about some of the, the higher end motion system. So there's, there's yeah. two categories, really, that we have. Um, within the uh, family um, and we have products that really start off from this sort of enthusiast hobbyist photographer looking to do panoramas like the syrup or, one the sort of basic one axis kind of stuff yeah so the little genie mini 2 yeah, exactly. which is yeah. um look yeah. like a little hockey puck um, which right. is great little entry level device yes um great for sort of linear movements um, yeah. can be combined into multiple axes um but um yeah, good starting point, not particularly expensive, um, and he's good for people just sort of starting out wanting to have a play with things. And these um, are all controlled via the app on your phone? Yeah, absolutely. So the whole whole uh, family of, of motion products is all controlled through the same app, so um, you can do some really cool stuff with it. Um, this stuff I've got here today, though, is, is sort of the higher-end kit, um, focused on the Genie 2 family. Um, so... Um, in one of the other videos we did, we looked at the different sliders like the Magic Carpet Good. and the Magic Carpet Pro. Um, and the Magic Carpet Pro, really, for that Which is what we, have, what we have here in all Absolutely, its glory. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and the Genie 2 range really pairs up well with this. Um, so these two items that you see here, um, these are the Genie 2 Linear and the Genie 2 Pan Tilt. Sure. And these items um, combine to give you a, a three-axis control system. Okay. So what I'll do, if that's all right, is I'll take you through each item, tell you some of the bits tell about me, it. Tell me, because I am like an open book waiting for the page to be written, the page of knowledge. Go on, Paul, keep going. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, well, look. So what we'll do is I'll just take this off for a moment and I'll start off Obviously, here. you're using a very similar quick release to what yep. we discussed before in our previous film. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so if I just take this off so we can have a bit more detail. So this was actually just quick release directly into the slider. Yeah. Um, so this is the Genie 2 Linear. So this device um, allows you um, a linear track system. So you can put this onto a syrup slider. You can put it onto any other slider. You don't even need to use a slider. You can stick it on a skateboard if you wanted. Yeah. Um, and it uses a rope capstan system. And you can have up to 100 meters of rope. Um, and it allows you very precise control, yeah. um, adjustable speed, um, and a different levels of adjustment and movement. So that's do just what you doing want. up and down the slider. Moving it left all right day like long, that. nice and smooth. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So you can set a number of different settings. You yep. can have it so that um, it will do a, a plan sort of A to B. You mm -hmm. can adjust the speed on that. You can get it to start and stop. You can yep. get it to speed up, slow down. You can do what you want with it. You can have it um, to bounce, just moving on a very standard left to right. Yep. Um, um, or you can do uh, more specific things like time lapse where it's doing very precise movements. Yes, um, exactly. So it's entirely up to you how you set it up. Um, you can simply make it work how you want it to go. Now, this device will um, run up to um, seven and a half kilos of camera package. That's quite heavy. That's um, quite heavy. It is, absolutely. And I think the thing is, you know, you're not going to be putting your main camera system on here for that no, sort of work. No. Um, but seven and a half kilos means that you could easily run, you know, most of the sort of middle or Abs the cinema or, e or even a stripped down heavy, you know, if you've just got a light lens. Yeah. Because you're not going to put everything on there. This is just for this particular move yeah. that, you, that you're doing, exactly. A absolutely. And whilst, you know, I think we see a lot of mirrorless cameras being used on here, you know, products like, you know, the Blackmagic range, mm. Canon C70s, even the likes of a C200, 
No problem at all. Yeah. No and, I, at all. Note it's got its own internal battery, I can see. Yeah, so um, the Gen 2 range use a removable battery. Right. Um, so obviously you can have spares on it and, and yep. plug them in. But um, they're actually all USB-C. The whole ecosystem's USB-C now. Oh, can you charge it through there? Yeah, so you can charge it through the device. Yeah. Um, you could run in a power bank. We actually do a syrup battery bank now, which holds two of these batteries. Mm -hmm. It's a char external charger, but you can also use it to, to power up any USB-C okay. device. Um, and obviously if you're doing some of the really long time lapses where... Yeah, you, maybe... might, you might eight hours of power or something. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, and obviously it's also the sort of thing, if you're operating in, in sort of temperature conditions where mm -hmm. they're suboptimal, you know, yeah. you're looking at um, things have which you, are going to sap the batteries. Have you been to England? <laughs> it is actually suboptimal most of the time. In fact, it's not only suboptimal, it's wet suboptimal currently this year. But anyway, um, moving on. No, very true indeed. So, um, so that's the linear. Um, yep. Now, there are some options to control it manually from the device, but mm. um, it's really best set up through the app and there's so much control that yep. you can do through it. Little nice touches though, if you are screwing it onto um, a device other than the slider, the thread, you can actually rotate from here to actually lock in ah, the so device. Ah, so you can lock it in from there. That's, that's very yeah. clever. And does that, do you sell that on its own? Yep. Yeah, so you can buy that, not, you know, you can add the other package as you need it or not. Absolutely, yeah. because it may simply be that a ball head on top is going to give you enough positioning movement. For it the depends sort of what you doing. want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's also nice and low profile as well. Yep. Um, and um, say, you know, ideal for video, but also good for time lapse as well. Yes. yes. So that's the Genie 2 linear. Um, and um, we'll just clip it back in here. Yeah. So it's all set up. You see, it's very easy to do. And then you just lock it across. Yeah. And that's solid. It's not going anywhere. That's, that's not. Okay, and now you're going to add. So this is the uh -huh. Genie 2 pan tilt. So this is the device that will fit on top, giving you both panning movement and a tilting action as well. Yeah. Um, just like the Genie 2 linear. So that would give me a total of three axes then with this. Correct. Because I've got that, and then I've also got that, and then I've also got that as well. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So again, um, removable battery, again, yeah. USB-C ecosystem. Same battery. Yeah. All, all the same. Yeah. That's brilliant. So again, if you buy into this family of products and want spares, then you're not looking yeah. at different items to it. Now with this one, um, so you've got a screen on here actually, mm -hmm. so you can do a bit more to program it from this device. Yeah. Again, what you can do, do on here is good. What you can do on the app is 10 I, times I, better. I, I'm detecting a theme, which is use the app because it, you can just got so much more. You can fine tune it as you want. And you can, I've seen it, you could, there are presets as well. So if you just want to turn up and knock something out really quick, yeah. it's easy to do. Yeah, yeah absolutely. There's, there's a number of presets in there, anything from um, you know basic time-lapse to uh, panoramas, multi-row yeah. panorama, yeah. to um, other sort of video keyframes as well. Yeah. But then you get into the sort of manual setup where you can be, yeah, you know, can really take some time setting up a, um, a, a set of movements that can do some pretty clever stuff. Mm. So, um, and it's all very intuitive. I think that's the other key piece to put about it. Are you saying, it's idiot proof while you're looking at me. Yes, idiot proof. You heard that here first. Um, yes, or, or for those who are just beginning. Again, move on. <laughs> Indeed. Other things about it as well. So it comes with its own quick release plate. Mm. Um, so you've got sliding movement here, so you can get the balance right over the top of the head. Uh, yes. Which is really important. I mean, um, I, I, the one point I would that jumps out of me immediately is I mirrorless. Yep. Maybe a C70. Stripped down FX6. Definitely. Possibly with a light lens, but not an FX9. That's here with the, with the greater weight because I can see you've obviously got yeah. that, that pitch. Yeah, indeed. And and so you're looking at six kilo payload, yep, plus or minus 30 degrees, yep, and then that's down to three kilos when it goes down to the full. Plus well, that, that minus seems minus that seems obvious because you've obviously got the motor turning, yep. yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, and, and it's all about making sure that, <clears throat> pardon me, that it um. It can really do the movements faithfully every time. Yeah, and this, where the payload on this would be considerably um, more. Seven and a half kilos. Yeah, seven and a half is yeah, more than double. Yeah. 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 So um, again, that will just click into this device, so it, it, you can see that it, it, it's just very easy to operate. Yeah. Now again, you don't have to do that. Again, it's got a three eighth inch thread, so you can screw so it in. So if you don't want to be tied to that, you can do yep. something else. Yeah. But of course, they are a perfect partner together, and just clicking in, and it works. Um, now again. This isn't just about using it in this linear fashion. Um, one, you can use it upside down. Um, I've seen some great setups actually in terms of TV production where mm. this is used as sort of a ceiling mounted device, flying cameras like a GH5 around different positions. And, and obviously vertically as well. Yeah, again, um, so you use the counterweight um, yeah. to so you use a rope 
off the fixing point on the slider through the wheel and that allows you to do your sort of 45 up to 90 degree angle. Um, now the weights do drop, so you're looking at two and a half kilos um, yeah. down onto the full vertical. Well, you have to be sensible if you're fighting gravity, yes. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and of course, you know, you're likely to see the use of a lot of these sort of smaller box cameras that are now yeah. coming out. There are so ones. many, I mean, you could put a Komodo on there, all of these uh, BGH1, all of these smaller yeah. cameras, which are still fully functioned. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and then, yeah, I mean, once you've got that set up, you've got a lot of creative control. Um, and um, certainly then I think it's just a case of getting into it and just seeing what, what your creativity can allow. Yes, the mind. Oh, that's that noise that you've heard is actually the coffee machine just strangling itself. But moving on. Go on. <laughs> yes. So um, so in terms of price point, um, so you're looking um, uh, just over 800 for the um for the linear device, yep. about 1400 for the pan tilt device, um, okay. or you can buy packages of them separately as well. Yep. So really, um, you know, a lot of control for an appropriate price on there. Now, if you're looking at that and thinking, well, that's probably more than I want to be right now, yep. there's another device to look at, um, which is the, um, just put that there, um, which is the Genie One. Now, the Genie yep. One came out last year. Now, this is um, a replacement for the original Genie, the one that yeah. really started all this off. Absolutely. Um, it's got the same sort of look and feel to it, this big sort of chunky box design. You know, it's a metal shell. It's nice and sturdy. It's got a huge battery in here, actually. Yes, it, I was going to say, it's, yeah, it's big. Yeah. It's yeah. an inbuilt battery, and, um, you know, it will actually give more better performance than the linear for time-lapse. Right. You know, so you get much longer... Uh, that for it again it's USB-C though so you can power it up through a um, a power bank and it's or... a single axis um, so this has got a couple of features on it so you can use it either as a rotational device yep just simply doing panning yep or you can replace the bottom and actually put on a linear so you can use it as a slider yeah, yeah linear course. motor so it's quite nice it's the only one that's multimodal in that way difference is this is 350 plus fat Oh, so, so it's much, much cheaper. Substantially cheaper. Um, and actually, this will motorise any slider a really good good price point. Um, now, um, again, with this one, you control it through the app. Um, and you've got all your features set there. Um, not quite as refined as the Genie 2 for sure. video. Um, yeah. Not quite as fast as in some of the... Um, is it, would you say it's more of a time-lapse product in that um, sense? Or? I would say it's a good middle-of-the-road product. Yeah. I, I think... Um, you know, if you've got, you know, if you're building your, your work where uh, where that sort of second shooter, that additional operator, um, or just having that sort of movement camera shot is something you're going to do a lot, then looking at that investment really makes sense because yeah. there's a lot more creative control. You know, if you're just starting to look at motion, then this is no bad place to start. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. Get used to it. And do the, do you have a camera link? Uh, like, like, can you link? Can you link a mirrorless camera via a cable to control that? Or? Yeah. So um, through the USB C. Um, so with this one, um, you can. Well, with the app actually, um, and through USB C, you can actually camera control quite a lot of devices now. Yes. So for, I mean, for time lapse, you can actually sync it all up. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. There are sync cables for firing the shutter. Yeah. As with both of these. Um, but. Um, with one of the latest updates, you can actually do a lot of camera control. Um, so you can do exposure ramping and things like that as well. Um, and there's also another device we launched called the Genie Micro, which is a tiny it's little the, device. It's a little puck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a tiny little thing, and it just sits on your hot shoe of your camera. Yeah. Um, and what that does is it allows you to control your camera. And Now, you might think, well, lots of apps now allow you to control your camera. What's nice about this, though, is that in the same app environment, you can control multiple cameras and Ooh. these devices so you could have um bu bullet time sorry i'm thinking i'm thinking all sorts of things yes well and that's the point i mean let's i guess in a slightly more sort of uh, low down situation yes. if you had two or three cameras i, I immediately took it to 45 <laughs> units sorry i've watched the matrix the other night yeah um, well maybe that's tomorrow but, uh, <laughs> but yeah certainly you know if you had two or three cameras and you wanted to be able to control everything from there yeah then it gives you that interface that allows yeah. everything in one place um they're not particularly expensive, um, but again, it's just really simple. Stuff. So you can dip the toe in the water, you can try the app, you can have something that's relatively inexpensive, still giving you some yeah. some movements and some play, and then when you're a kind of thing, actually, no, this system can do that and the higher end, and you can kind of move forward. Absolutely, and so one of the most popular kits that we sell is the, the Magic Carpet Pro um, Epic Kit, which is the Genie 2 kit with the Medium Slider Magic Carpet Pro. So yeah. it's all in package, means that you've got 
um, three axis motion control. Yeah. You've got a pro grade slider and you've yeah. got 90 centimeters of movement. And it just means that, you know, all in, you've got everything. Yeah. Now, whilst that's, you know, around the sort of 3000 yes. mark. Yeah, high end. Um, the fact of the matter is if you've got a manual slider already and you want motion. You can add that for 350 quid and you give it a go. And when you feel you need more, you can get more, but you've actually got that stepping stone. Yeah, and you can build yeah. into it and everything you learn about how the app operates and the functions yeah. that you've got, you know, you building that knowledge on. Absolutely. So a great family of products. Um, and, um, you know, I would certainly say that we're, you know, because of that sort of joint into um, Vitec Commission Solutions, mm. because of the, I guess, the, the, the coming together of minds from our support business in Manfrotto and other brands and and the um, the ingenuity of the Syrup team and, and the mechatronic designs that they do. Um, and there's yeah. some wonderful things I think are coming. So watch yeah. this space, really. That's exciting. Thank you, Paul. Thanks for joining us. And thank you for once again, Paul, proving that there is no motion without control. See you soon. <laughs>